Hi everyone, Arena here. Welcome to the Mama Elephant October release. I hope you're all doing well and getting a head start on your holiday card making projects. As always, the release will be available on the 15th. Let's kick off today's intro with Gift Crate. I had so much fun with this stamp set. Right off the bat, my favorite image is the crate. The coordinating die for this crate has a little slit and you can tuck in those larger images inside and it looks so cute. It comes with the two larger images that you can use for the new year or holidays. Also two smaller images, a little bear and a little penguin, my favorite, that you can use to accent your scene. Here's a look at the coordinating dies for a gift crate and you can see that the box has that little um, extra piece of die that will cut an opening and I'll show you how that all works in a bit. Next up we have the Stitched Alphas Creative Cuts and I just adore this alpha set. I really love stitching on cards and this has some stitching detail within the letter and it looks really good cut out. I will be first coloring in the images with Copic markers today and I'm just coloring it just the regular colors of fruit and nothing crazy. I'll have the list of Copic marker colors I used in the description box. Please also excuse my voice. I caught a cold a couple weeks ago and every time I open my mouth I have I feel the urge to cough. Um so I'm I'm just wanting this cold to be over because I have had it for for like three weeks now. So I'm just coloring these the normal color that the fruits would be nothing crazy. I didn't want I didn't know what to color the three little uh, fruits at the bottom so I decided to color them like an orange peach color. I decided to color the bottle in the middle the Martinelli's sparkling cider bottle color and I was looking at pictures and I was trying to match the color and I really like the color combination I used YG95 and YG97. I don't typically look at the color names I just kind of go by the you know letters and numbers of the Copic markers but I was curious and um, the color names are Spanish olive and pale olive and I'm like oh that makes so much sense like <laughs> because I never really look at the color names because sometimes the color names have nothing to do what you think it should be named um, but I thought that was interesting I was also thinking about what colors I wanted to use for the reindeer image so I was looking at the bunny image and I was I was looking at it and I'm like, oh, I haven't I didn't use blue. So then I decided to color in the reindeer image like primarily in blues for the ornaments. So those are blues and then I use yellow as an accent color and of course the candy canes are red. So whenever there's like a button nose, I like to color it in red. It first started off with reindeer, like for Rudolph, but then now I've branched out and <laughs> even this bunny has a tiny little nose and I colored it in red. I think it just adds a little pop of color to the face. The reindeer color for is E31 and E33. I find those two colors to be easy to blend together and it's easy on the eye.
images using the coordinating dies and here's that box and you can see that it has that slit and then you can tuck things inside it and I just love it. I love the images that come with the stamp set to tuck inside, but I think you could also use other critters from other sets too um, to tuck things in. The stamp set also came with a standalone bear and penguin, and I thought it would be fun to use those two images to tuck into the crate, so I colored in another crate in brown. And after I had put them in, I was like, oh my goodness, so cute. Um, I can't wait to try it with other images. I'm going to be making three cards uh, with all the images that we colored. And so I used a couple of the dies that released last month for the big anniversary release. Um, this particular die cut here is from the Magic Snow Cover. And I am uh, ink blending it with Distress Oxide ink in tumbled glass. And then also there is a look at the Stitch Alphas. Uh, so I used the Stitch Alphas on all three cards uh, just so you could see the sizing and what they look like. The Stitch Alphas also comes with an exclamation mark, which I used as well. And um, sometimes I use the post-it note to keep the letters together so I can easily adhere them to the card. But then sometimes I just um, don't want it to look perfect. So I'll just go ahead and just adhere it on without like using any help <laughs> but for this one I wanted the jolly to be straight so I positioned the die cuts and then I have a uh, long piece of post-it um, tape that I use so I can lift all of them together put glue at once and then put it back to the front of the card super easy stamp set comes with these tiny little holly pieces and I thought it would be cute to um, use them around the sentiment jolly so it's holly jolly um but i thought <laughs> i thought that was really cute and i love images like this i love these tiny images that you, you can use to accent your card um, and it's like a little small piece but i think it just it adds to the detail so for the next card um i wanted the letters i am spelling out joy here to uh, the color to match exactly with the stamped um, images. So I colored it with Copic marker. I think this is the first time that I've colored in my own die cuts and it worked out really well. You just have to remember to also color in like the sides of the paper so it shows, um, it doesn't show white. Um, so I really liked how that turned out. Um, I'm probably going to do that again. Um, this is the Into the Woods um, cover die. It comes with another die, but I only used one. And so that's what I'm using as my background um, for this card. And I ink blended using the Evergreen Bow Distress Oxide ink. And I'm just um, adhering the images like um, I did the first card. I popped it up using a double-sided foam adhesive. I really love this image right here. I have really been enjoying the sizing of the Mama Elephant stamps. I really love the little agenda stamps, but these larger images um, combined with like a scene element, I'm really loving. For the ink blending on this one, I wanted instead of the color to be on the inside i wanted the color to be on the outside um, if i didn't mention it this is the into the night um, cover dye um, and i thought the white in the middle was too stark so i used the leftover ink just to lightly ink blend a little bit color where the stars are at uh, the ink i used is the broken china distress oxide ink and i loved how uh, this card came out i love using the cover dye i love that the blue color with the red um, i just really liked it this one is going to say for you i'm going to keep these die cuts in white i kind of like white lettering on a colored background i think it looks really good and this i'm not going to make so perfect i'm going to make it um, just kind of like loose and informal <laughs> 
after uh, this card is done, I am going to add some white gel pen detail on all of the cards, um, some little sparkles. So I have <laughs> not played Animal Crossing for quite some time. I was playing the mobile app version Pocket Camp, but I have a new addiction and that is Disney Dreamlight Valley on the Switch. Even though it crashes like every five minutes, I love the game so much. And every time you do something in the game, like sparkles come out. So, I mean, I think that's every video game. Like, you know, when you win something or you like hit a goal or whatever, sparkles happen. So I, I wanted to add like sparkles happening on these cards too. I just wanted to add a little color. I also wanted to add like some shine to the fruit as well. So I'm doing like a little dot um, where I think the shine should be. And then I'm adding sparkles to the outside um, just to add a little bit more interest on the cards. And I loved that finishing touch. Once all those details are complete, I will be mounting these card fronts into card bases and then I'll be calling these cards done. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day. Stay safe, happy crafting, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.